High School is hosting various fundraisers in an effort to keep their newspaper going. Well, Lisa Ortiz joins us live from Fairfield, where this week they're hosting a Scrabble fundraiser. Hey, who? Hold on, I'm in deep oh, concentration no, right now. All right. Okay, okay. This is what I got. What do you got? Okay, I see it. I see it. <laughs> big, big words here, Ken. Big words. <laughs> this is what we've got so far, okay? And I was the first one. You want to know what word I had? That right there, lie. Three letters. That's, it, yep. That was it, lie. That's a solid that, start. That was all I... <laughs> That's a solid start. Is that a solid start? Yes. What do I have now, 15 points? <laughs> Who's in the lead? Uh, you. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> well. I love games. I love games. Man, this is a lot of brain power in the morning, let me tell you. Hey, we are at Armio High School this morning because, hey, Ken, you know what this is? What? You know what this is? It's a newspaper. It's a, it's a newspaper. They still make those? It's a newspaper, my <laughs> friend. Yes, and so they're doing... I know, right? We always talk about how many people still read this every day, and we're trying to get these kids to continue to do that. Uh, and, and so here, they're doing this big fundraiser to save their paper. With me this morning, Lynn Herring, one of the teachers here, and this is a big deal. This newspaper's been around, what, almost 19 years? 18 and a half years. Uh -huh. Started in October 1996. And for the first time in all of these years, it is at risk of not happening. Right. We have had a monthly publication. I've been keeping track of how many months and celebrating every 50, 50 issues. Yeah. And now my account's going to be destroyed. If we don't get the money. If we don't get the money. All right, I'm going to take you to the wall here. And come with me, Lynn, if you will, um, and show you. These are some of the past newspapers that you guys have done. Um, and you can kind of see the evolution of it. And, you know, it's changed a little bit. And kind of now it's the fold. This used to be the side fold. And now it's the front over. And I was thinking we'd come and we'd see the whole process, the whole cut and paste thing. But that doesn't happen anymore. No, Times have changed. For a while. Yeah. Um, we did. We used to do cut and paste. Used to do it in, in a room, and it used to be just me cutting and pasting. Yeah. Now it's all done on the computer. Right. I bring my editors in. They come in at different times whenever we have time in the yeah. in the school day, lunch, or after school, and then they go ahead and they put it together. They uh, they do it, and then I rearrange things if they need to be yeah. change fonts check pictures, all that kind of stuff. And then you email it to the printer, and then it comes back in a big stack of newspapers. So it's kind of a mix of new and old. <laughs> so they're always doing these fundraisers. They've done some some uh, t-shirt sales, and this month's sale is, or, or fundraiser is, of course, the Scrabble. Who's winning, winning this game? They've got oh, way more letters. Way more letters over here. This is our score right now. So I'm winning with 110, then Whoa. Diana's with 85, nice. then Brianna with 67, and then Johnny with 30. Impressive, kids. Impressive. All right, and anyone is welcome to participate participate in the fundraiser and it is happening uh, tomorrow night tomorrow night at the PAL Center here in Armio and so again it's all about saving the paper yes and the PAL Center is on um, Union Avenue mm -hmm. fantastic so there again I'm telling you there's going to be a day where not, people are going to be like what is that right, right? we can't let that happen we can't so, uh, they've got this big fundraiser and that is happening and it's for the uh, Armio Signal is the name of the newspaper been around a long time so we've got to keep it going I'm telling you that's not easy this no, early morning. No, it is morning. not. No, it is not. Thank you so much, too. Hopefully folks will get involved and help them keep that newspaper going. We'll have that information linked to our site at gooddaysacramento.com on this Thursday morning.